Uh, first off, I'd like to welcome a few folks in the room. Um, I think it's a mayor's luncheon part two because I think some of the past mayors decided to come back for some more. I want to welcome Paul Jacobs, Joselle Smith, Andy Weissman, all former mayors. Thank you so much for coming. And I want to extend a, a special hello to our incoming mayor, Jeff Cooper, and his wife, Rafi, is here. I'm going to uh, verge a little bit from what we normally do, uh, opening the meeting with business. Uh, the minutes from our January 18 um, general meeting and our treasurer's report, our current treasurer's report, are posted in the back. Um, we've had selected board members who have reviewed them. If anybody has any you know, dissension, come see me afterward. But I really want to get to a very special part of the program that we're doing off the top. And it's, um, yeah, there's about eight months left of my presidential term. I term out at the end of the year. And I don't get, it's a joy to be involved with this association. But there are a few times when something actually magically happens and um, a very lovely couple, a very lovely family come into your life. And um, I received an email from Mr. Paul Jacobs saying that um, the father of Rabbi Zach Shapiro from Temple Akiba wanted to show us a letter. And uh, he's a collector of letters has collected uh, all the president's signatures on letters um, from 1 through 44. And he wanted to show us a very special one that he thought that we might like to see. And uh, Paul, uh, Art Littman, Julie Lugosera, and Mr. Shapiro and I met here on a Sunday morning. Um, Mr. Shapiro was very natally dressed, and I think I was wearing something I'd just come out of the gym in. And um, he came in a very... He uh, came with a very simple portfolio, and in it was a letter from Mr. Harry Culver uh, talking about nothing else but mail delivery. And I think we can all commiserate about Culver City and mail delivery. And uh, he talked about his his collection, why he collects, how he collects, and um, being an art historian, I found a kismet with him. Um, at the very end, after uh, Rabbi Shapiro arrived, he said, I'd like to donate this letter to the Historical Society on behalf of myself and my family. And um, <laughs> it is the first letter in our collection to have actual Harry Culver's signature. So to have something like this enter our collection as I am um, in my twilight years as a president, um, is symbolic, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. I couldn't be more grateful to the family. This is why we do what we do here. This is why you are members of the Historical Society, are for moments like this. Um, the letter is actually on display in our archives, so after the program, I invite you to come in and see it. But I wanted to welcome Rabbi Shapiro, Mr. and Mrs. Dennis Shapiro, um, to gift us of a, love, of a beautiful letter. So. Shapiro had a few words that he wanted to say, and then I invited Rabbi Shapiro to actually read a few passages from the letter. So. Congratulations to Culver City, 100 years. Let's hope we'll all be here for the next celebration. <laughs> um, I uh, really enjoy collecting autograph letters. It makes history come alive. My collections go back maybe 300 years. My son is also interested in history. And his history goes back exactly 5,777 years. <laughs> he wants to read some lines from the letter, and let's enjoy it together. I'll use this, thank you. 
What a pleasure and an honor it is to be here in this capacity. I bring you greetings from everyone at the Temple of Kiba in Culver City, where I've served for the past 11 years. It's great to be here with my parents, who have been incredible individuals, and I love them so very much. I bring greetings from our suburb of Los Angeles, where my husband, Ron Galperin, is the city controller, and he wanted to make sure to send his love as well. And so I'm going to read one of the four paragraphs that's in here, which can speak to, uh, which can speak to what Harry Culver was trying to say. The fact is that we've struggled for 13 years to have our post office become one of the first class, and now that it has exceeded the requisite income, having done better than $40,000 last year, two post office inspectors have come from here on an investigation. And instead of giving us the credit for that portion of Culver City that is in Los Angeles, they're trying to throw it over into the palms to the end <laughs> that I should write a letter to you, living west of Hughes Avenue. It would be mailed in our local post office, forwarded to Los Angeles, sent back to the palms, and then be delivered to you if you are still alive. <laughs> Friends, what an honor it is to help be part of Culver City history. And as we know, the more we learn about history, the more we learn about today and about where we're going into the future. So we're honored to be here. Thank you all very much for giving us this opportunity as well. Thanks everybody so much. I want to turn now um, to your regularly scheduled program and invite Hope Parrish, our VP of Programs, who's going to introduce her dad, who's going to be giving um, today's talk about our favorite Stu Freeman. Thank you.